We're just gonna run for it. There's a giant something there. Damn, these are pretty destroyed. Okay, uh, I think we might have made it. Looks like there's tracks. Something big came through here. Stop and listen. If it's there, we'll hear it. Oh my god! Dude! Is that a wolf? Alright guys, so we are basically um, kind of in the middle of nowhere. I think the there's a town, I think it's called Terrace Bay. It looks like it was about 30 minutes. I drove right through it. It's down that way. Now down this road that we were about to go, um, there's supposed to be a ghost town. I know my friend James did this uh, probably a couple years ago now. I know he came all the way up to Thunder Bay and this was one of his spots. He was the one who uh, mentioned it and said it was actually pretty cool. It is a little town essentially basically right on Lake Superior. Um, there really isn't anything there anymore. There used to be people that lived there, I believe up until 1967. I will double check all my facts when I get back to the inn, but yeah, there was two people up until then. And then basically everybody just left for whatever reason, I guess, whatever the main source of industry in this area was closed down. And, uh, yeah, there was nothing really left for people to stay. No real reason, of course. Um, but yeah, this is actually where apparently the last spike of the railroad was made here. Hence the reason why the place is still marked. Like it's still on the maps per se. Um, but yeah, we're going to basically go down this road and, uh, see what's down here. Okay, so I'm not really like too sure on how treacherous this road is, so I'm just kind of like mentally preparing for this. Uh, but I do have pretty good tires and obviously we are in a Subaru, so we do have all wheel drive, but let's do this. Let's get this done. So it looks like people do come through here because there's lots of tire tracks and I did see a truck come through here as well. Um, I don't know what he was coming from. I don't really know what the heck is even down here, but basically we're going to get to the end of the road and uh, it's going to be a little bit of a hike from there. Maybe he came from here. Oh, there's like something here. I think it's like a quarry or I don't know. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea, but so there's something there. Uh, whoa, we are swerving a little bit. All right, let's uh, slow her down a little bit just in case there's like a rough patch of road. It's always a good sign when you can see the, uh, the tire tracks. Looks like some people went around something over here. All right, now it's gonna probably start to get a little more rough. I think we got to get basically where the train tracks are and then there's like a dirt road or path or something that we can follow most likely on foot I highly doubt we'll be able to drive to it I have almost no reception out here Let's see what we got. I do believe there's a building. It looks like there's a building here on the left. Uh, I don't really know what it is. It shows up on maps, but we got to get a little further down. It also looks like there's a big, like, patch on the left here as well. that it says danger danger due to what danger no trespassing but I want to know what the danger is <laughs> whatever we'll just keep on going um, so there's no signs this way there's nothing that says I mean there is like a marked trail along this uh, part over here so I don't see why we can't in 300 there. meters slight right slight right it's literally telling me to drive through there 
Okay, let me uh, dismount this camera for a second. Okay, so it's telling me to go there and then drive right, but I don't think that's going to be even a remote possibility. But we will see. I do apologize Take for the, the rattling right. when there's nothing mounted, it uh, rattles there. Okay, there's nothing out here. <laughs> so it's telling me to go that way. I can clearly see people have hiked that way. There's trails, well, footsteps, not trails. Okay, I'm gonna have to, let's go a little further ahead and uh, Continue for 800 see meters. what's here first before we do anything. Before we make any rash decisions. I can see there's equipment, there's a blue bin or whatever. Yeah, there's nothing here really. There's just uh, whatever that is and uh, this thing. <laughs> just like a radio tower or something. Okay, I'm gonna figure this out. Okay, so uh, I was actually looking at my old conversation with James and apparently he said, take this old road basically until the end and uh, you have to like walk along the tracks alongside of it and eventually you'll see like a bunch of stuff on the side there. He showed, I saw some of the old photos so it actually looks pretty cool. Um, but it looks like there's someone here, like somebody working or something. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but yeah, we'll see in a second once we get here. Again, there's nothing that says I can't be here, so <laughs> I don't see why not. Um, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are embarking on an insane journey right now. There could be bears, there could be moose. Uh, apparently, if we follow these train tracks, we will end up at a ghost town. And it's supposed to be pretty freaking cool. Luckily, it is not super cold today. Um, but yeah, apparently there are going to be a few trains passing. So we do have to be very vigilant and very careful uh, as to where we stand exactly. Okay, so right now there's no trains coming, but we gotta be as quick as possible, just in case one does come. I don't even know if I'm allowed to go on this side, but yeah, we're just gonna run for it at this point. <laughs> All right, so we've made it through there. Uh, now the next leg, I'm not exactly sure where these houses are, but I remember he said about 15 minutes. So, uh, there literally is no other easy way to walk. This is pretty cool though. Got a beautiful view of Lake Superior. Wish I had more time to kind of admire it, but I kind of have to hurry up and get where we're going. All right, so no trains yet. I don't hear anything. Uh, either way, really. But this is freaking bonkers. Okay. Hopefully we're not too far now. I'm a little nervous if a train does come, especially once you're at that point, you're kind of I imagine this is probably where all the bears live. Maybe somewhere up there. I don't know. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. Now just imagine that, like, there was no road apparently going to this ghost town. Like, this is crazy. Whoa, look at that. There's a giant something there. That, like, it's the ruins of some massive building. I don't know if it's like a barn or a church or something. There's a bin down there. Wow, that's crazy. Holy. Oh, we got something here. What is that? That looks interesting. Let's go check it out. Looks like we're finally uh, starting to get somewhere. It's been tagged. Whew. So far, this is uh, quite the uh, extraordinary hike. Now, keep in mind that we got to make sure we're out of here at least by the time the sun goes down. Whoa, I don't know what the heck this thing is, but that is freaking cool. It's the foundation of something, maybe an old train station. Who knows? Okay. Cool. 
I don't know what these things were. Look like stacks for something. Wow, that's cool. All right, let's uh, make our way back down and we'll keep going. Gotta keep heading down that way. All right, looks like uh, we got tracks to something. I don't know what, but let's just make sure we don't get tracked ourselves. I don't see anything. I haven't heard any wildlife. We walk closer to here where there's a little bit less snow. So far, no trains too, so that's good. Damn, I had to run for my freaking life. There's a uh, train coming through. This should be pretty cool. Damn, that was kind of scary because it was very faint at first. <laughs> Holy crap. Whew. All right. Awesome. Yeah, I was literally like walking right next to the track. All I heard. Woo, 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 woo. Holy crap, guys. Hopefully this train isn't super long. Maybe I can keep moving, but slowly. I just got to stick to this side, I guess. Well, we found something. A very old shoe with literally no sole. <laughs> Which is punny. Uh, there's something up this way. Let's see what's here. Kind of just looks like foundations. <sighs> Thought I saw something over there. Hang on. <sighs> we gotta definitely watch our surroundings out here. There's something dark over there. I don't know what that is. Whew. What is that? There's a bunch of stuff over here. Oh yeah, there's foundations. Look at that. Uh, I don't really know what that is. Looks like there might be something back there. I'm not sure. Yeah, these were old foundations to an old house or something. Oh wow, look at that. The old freaking, uh, I think that's a stove. That's cool. Alrighty. Is there anything else out here? Looks like just rocks. I don't know, okay, we're gonna head back towards the tracks and keep walking until we find the rest of whatever's out here. Well, now that one train has passed, the only thing we got to worry about is one other train, which will be passing eventually. Uh, all right, let's go. Well, here comes another train. So I found kind of what I'm looking for. It looks like it's down there. Um, yeah, I just heard something move down there. What the heck was that? I think there might be uh, something out there. Okay, we're gonna have to just uh, slow down our pace till we can get to the right spot. Oh boy. Okay. Now I'm nervous. Okay. I realized I also had my uh, shutter speed a little too low. So. Managed to fix that, I think. All right, let's keep going. Where is this train exactly? I don't know if it's like heading that way or if it's got to come around this big bend. Whew. I should probably double check also where I'm going. The only problem is there's no uh, service in this area right now. So, but I think what we're looking for might be all down there. So I think we've made it. Woo, I think we made it guys. Holy crap. Okay, we found something. 
Whoa, this is pretty cool. I don't know if there's like more up this way, more down that way. I don't even know where to start. Holy crap, check this out. Wow. Now this is cool. I love this. Okay. Damn, these are pretty destroyed. Yeah, not much left. I mean, keep in mind, these have probably been abandoned since the late 60s. Oh, there's more back there. Whoa. There's uh, what is that, an old car? Is that a, I don't know what that, no, that's not a car. <laughs> James told me there was an old car somewhere. Damn. Cool. Wow. They're pretty well destroyed. Let's go see the, uh, the other one back here. Oh, there's more to this house. Oh, wow. Damn, people used to live in here? These are tiny. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much back there. These are pretty well a mess. All right, let's uh, continue on down the tracks. Okay, so I think this is the uh, route here that we got to take. I see some foundations. This looks like it would have been a, uh, a road or trail or something back in the day. Oh, there we go. We got something over here. Is that something or is that just... Uh, Deceiving to the eyes. I don't know if there's anything down this way uh, But that other building looked like it was up here I think Damn dude, this is like this is out here man Holy crap Okay, uh, I think we might have made it I think that's it, or that's a something anyway. I don't know what that is, but there's definitely something there. Wow, this is, uh, this is incredible. It's starting to snow, but holy crap, what a sight. Honestly, I never would have thought that I would have been here in the middle of winter, but uh, we're here, we made it. This is awesome. Whoa, look at this. Dude, there's an old bathtub, a canoe, uh, there's something up there. I don't know what the heck that is. Uh, let's go up this way and see what the heck this is all about. This is freaking amazing though. Wow. Okay guys, I'm a little confused at the moment. Um, so I walked up to that house. I don't know if it's abandoned. I don't think it is. It looks way too modern to be a part of the ghost town. Uh, so now I'm kind of making my way back up to the tracks and uh hopefully we can figure out where the hell the rest of this is so it's only 310 so we got at least a good hour bef before we absolutely have to start making our way back oh man this is quite the workout though <laughs> guys check this out this is really cool there's literally things marked here on the side of the rock from 1956 1980 there's more up there can't really tell what it is but uh, yeah, I think we gotta keep going. I can't believe I almost went the wrong way completely. I don't know what was up with that house that I was walking to, but it didn't look totally abandoned. It might just been like a, like a cabin for somebody. Maybe they come hunting or something. I have no idea. Oh, we found more uh, writing. It feels like I'm just freaking walking forever. Uh, but there's gotta be more. That can't be it. I did not come all this way for two little rundown shacks. Damn it. All right guys, so uh, to be honest, uh, I think I went too far. So what I think, I looked on the maps again. It's very hard to get reception out here, but um, I looked on the maps and it looks like where those houses are, looks like an old road that might've gone up. There may be 
some more stuff out that way, but I gotta get over there as quick as Lee, as quick as Lee, I can't even talk right now, uh, as quickly as I possibly can. But I think we're done for trains for now. So hopefully we're good, because if a train comes right now, this is gonna really suck. <laughs> okay, we're good for now, because if a train does come, I have space to just go up there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go back up this way about 10 minutes or so. Go up that road, see if there's anything there. Because from when I remember, when James originally told me about this place, he made it sound like there was so many more spots. So, and it looks like there was a bookstore or something. I don't know if that was part of it, but uh, that's kind of what I'm looking for. Okay, so I decided to come back here where these houses are, because this looks like a road to me. There might be something up here. Before I head back to the car and call it quits, Damn, I'm getting tired, especially after f***ing up like that, going way too far. But yeah, there's got to be something up here. Okay, I think we're onto something here. We found an old car. There's got to be more up this way. I think we're almost there, guys. Probably up there? I don't even know, but we'll see once we get there. Okay, guys, uh, looks like there's tracks. Something big came through here. Looks like a moose. I hear something. Oh boy. I can't see if it's on this side. I don't think it's on that side. Holy crap. Oh man, I'm nervous. Let's just stop and listen. If it's there, we'll hear it. Okay, I don't hear anything. Oh, damn, there's a lot of tracks going through here. All right, just gonna keep my eyes open. We're like not even all the way at the top, man. Holy crap, dude, there's tracks everywhere. Oh boy. Okay, either that's moose tracks or Bigfoot came through here. Holy crap. What the f am I doing out here right now? I don't see anything. Great, now my glasses are fogging up. All right guys, I'm gonna just take a look at what's up here. If nothing, I'm gonna turn around and start heading back uh, before the sun goes down. There's something up here. What is that? Uh, I think it's just a broken tree. Okay, let's take a quick peek, if anything, and then we'll leave. Guys, I think there's a moose up there. I keep hearing loud thumps. There's tracks everywhere. Whew. I'm gonna get back down the hill. Back on the tracks and get the f out of here. Uh, I don't know if there's anything up there. Uh, if anything, whoa, almost slipped. If anything, I'm gonna confirm with James where there may have been more to this ghost town, but apart from that, I'm leaving, especially because the, the sun goes down so early. Oh man. Okay, so uh, almost back at the car. Well, not really. I got about uh, 12 minutes or so, I think. Okay, well, still got a little bit of a uh, hike to do before we get back to the car, but holy crap, man. You know, I've never come in, in contact or encountered a moose, or a, moose, a moose or anything in the wild. And to be honest with you, I definitely do not want to encounter one. Uh, based on the tracks that I was seeing, that thing was big, so that could have been hella dangerous. Um, I haven't really noticed anything else along the way. I sent a message to James just to confirm that what we found was pretty much the gist of it. I do think that there was likely stuff up at the top, maybe at some point in time. Maybe there still is something up there, but considering what I found, 
I'm not gonna take my chances. It's not worth it, not for a video. Not at all. Okay, looks like we're uh, coming up to that that narrow rock quarry thing. Uh, so we're definitely not far. That's hopefully the only one, because I do not remember anymore. Oh, damn, it's starting to get really cold. Holy crap. All right, looks like we're back to running again. <laughs> Can't say this wasn't uh, an intense, fun exploration, that's for damn sure, but I just want to make sure I get out of that narrow passageway, just in case. Oh, okay. What the f***? Holy shit, I just noticed that. Oh my god. Dude, is that a wolf? No, I think it's a coyote. Holy crap, dude. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> I saw that at the last second and it freaked me the hell out. Holy shit. Holy crap, man. <laughs> I wonder if he got hit by like a train or something. Maybe he was wandering around on the tracks right as the train was coming. Oh crap, this is not the uh, not the only narrow passageway. There's one more. <laughs> okay. Now we're definitely almost there because I remember that that sign right there that says 99. Ooh, okay. Almost there. As soon as I get to about there, uh, that's what I'm going to start running. Alrighty. Almost there. Wait for it. Wait for it. Because <laughs> this, this spot right here gets really tall and extremely narrow. So, again, if a train comes through, I am uh, dead meat. Alright, let's do this. Let's go. Holy crap. Whew. Okay. Whew. All right. Okay, I think we are good. Honestly, I really want to touch this. I have to. It just looks so freaking cool. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Damn. I did not expect that to break. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're pretty much back at the car. All right. We made it back to the car. Oh my God. Not too bad. I think I got here roughly around 2.45. It is now 4.05. Now we can head back to the inn. First, I gotta find somewhere to eat because I am absolutely starving. I ate uh, very little this morning. Just eggs, tomatoes, and an avocado. Can't say it wasn't healthy though, but holy crap. I for sure lost like two, three pounds just on that one hike. It's a lot. It's a, it's a lot of work to Oh, do that entire hike in the freaking snow. But all right, let's go back. <laughs> 